Hi everyone out there, my name is Sarah Boyokan and on today's video I'm here with my uh, extended family here in, in Calgary and we are in the campsite, okay? We just left the area where we do the camp and we are just walking here today and on today's video I will just share you the information how did they come here in Canada they have a she have a three sister here in calgary okay and i want them to share their own life experience how did they come here to canada okay so you guys have some ideas how to apply to come here in canada so you stay with me until the end of this video and disclaimer i'm not an agency i'm not an immigration consultant i'm just here to share you information uh, for you to have some knowledge about how to come here in canada it's just early morning and we just woke up you know it's a mom day so anyway um we're just uh, beside the campground that campground is on that side so while walking with ate i will ask her how did she come to canada no. <laughs> <laughs> you came to canada from hong kong ate right from hong kong yeah from hong kong from philippines to hong kong okay hong so did you canada. when you from uh, when you are in hong kong did you go for agency uh, to come here in yeah canada? Yeah, did you go agency, right? Yeah, I go agency. But I what name of that agency sorry, in Hong Kong? I forgot. It. I forgot. Hey, that was ten years ago. So anyway, uh, she came here as a nanny, like me. Okay, from Hong Kong to ten o'clock in the morning. It's a river. It's a Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to bring here the kids, but we hide to the kids. Their dad is the one who's going to take care of them, of course. So anyway, so Ate, when you are in Hong Kong and you went to the agency, right? Through yeah, agencies. Agency. So you agency is the one who find employer for you here in Canada. Yeah. Right? So yeah, her, her first employer are Jewish. Yeah, yeah Jewish. Jewish people. So, and how long you stay with them before you got your permanent resident? No, after three years. Three then, years. And then yeah. she applied her apply. uh, her permanent residence. And then she sponsored her husband and children to come here in Canada, right? Yeah. So how long when you sponsor your uh, family to come here? Like take five years before they're here. <laughs> <laughs> how I let them I let them make like longer. Oh, I saw it. Oh, so you choose myself. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You prepare yourself. Yeah. So when they are here, at least they are ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh. To come in Canada, guys, is either uh, by um, spousal sponsorship right yeah, like you did yes. like uh disposal sponsorship visitor visa um work Immigrant. permit visa or immigrant, what else right? yeah you come as a permanent resident like immigrants immigrant. those people like who come to canada as immigrants are people who are working through the express entry program skilled yes, okay yes. yeah okay. yeah but for us we came here as a permanent yeah. visa i don't know no, we came here as a nanny work permit visa yes, yes. yeah so yeah. yeah and through agencies through we came agencies. here in canada through agencies she came in canada through agencies yeah. my younger sister i, I let my part-time sponsor her okay yeah. so that's one thing too if you yeah. are if you have a family here if you have a family member in canada you can ask them to find employer for you so that's how yeah, you did yeah, oh I, I see time, for I, carol yeah carol. i see i see okay now i understand I her sponsor her, so. yeah so and it's because you know what it's summer here in canada still it's august first week of august and we are in the campground and we have small children and our husband i told them hey guys you have to take care of your son it's mommy day let's just walk <laughs> so we are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> I don't know. The bear. <laughs> oh no, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, we're not looking for a bear. I'm gonna run. Holy cow. <laughs> no, we don't have a bear spray. You know, you know, this is the scary one here in Canada, in Alberta. They have, you know, this area is, uh, there's, there's a bear here on this uh, area, right? I think yeah, that's know. why they have a warning. So I don't know. What if there's a bear on that? No, oh, my son Eli said, I'm not their dinner. <laughs> I'm no, oh my God, I'm scared anyway. Yeah, so, and uh, uh, it's the first week of August here and it's our long weekend, right? So, yes. yeah, we're just uh, having a break, relax, come Mine to the mountain, get out from the city, you know. How much you pay for the agencies when you come here in Canada? I think all in all is 2007 us us dollar yes. 2700 us dollar yes. and you paid your own, I pay uh, my flight. own yeah 
airplane airplane yeah, ticket, ticket. Yeah, yeah for me before i i spent almost like six thousand canadian dollar canadian. for me included my air flight but i paid it's my own money okay employers here in canada they don't buy your airplane ticket no. you know no they don't no. do that and uh yeah we paid our own you know when you come to canada you need to spend your money you know if you especially if you are applying to the agencies okay the problem is some agencies they took advantage on you they promise everything but then they don't have they employer don't have the employee. you know and that's the bad thing some agencies okay but we are lucky enough because the agencies that we applied to come here in canada they are good they're, they're the good, one who yeah. find employer for us we cannot trust agencies anymore because yeah the important thing is you have to find employer first yeah but usually when the employee come here they don't have employer right most of the yeah, most yeah. of them so i know that the i know yeah. i know that yeah that's why uh immigration are very strict about that because some of the agencies before they pretend to have the uh, employer here in Canada. I don't know how they do, do like they make a magic for that. Some agencies before, okay, but then when the immigration find out, they, they make it like very, very strict, you know? Yeah. you know? What some agencies, they took advantage of the applicants because so many thousands of applicants to come here in Canada, you know what they do? Uh, they took advantage for that, you know? Yeah. So anyway, Ate, because you are now a permanent resident, so what so what job you're doing now here in canada so far i don't have a full-time job yeah she but stay home because I she have home. a small two children and sometimes some mommy they prefer to stay home and take care of their own children because you know if you bring them to the daycare center it's, it's very expensive, expensive yeah? yeah so might as well just take care of your own kids if the husband work full time okay. and it's okay you survive for that because they survive okay she stay home she have a part-time uh, job here and she do some cleaning job sometimes yeah. but not all the time all she the probably time. do like once a week or twice, twice a week, a week yeah. something like that if the husband is off that's why some of you guys my subscribers out there sometime you asking me can we survive for a full-time job like 40 hours a week how how do we survive they survive okay husband is a full-time job and he's working in uh, construction yeah and she stay home mom like i full-time stay home mom monday to friday on the weekend that's the time she go do some cleaning jobs and like yeah they survive okay so some people survive okay so don't worry about that okay yeah. because uh, some of my uh, subscribers are asking how can we survive like you know so it all depends on your lifestyle as yeah, i said yeah, <laughs> the way how you sp your spending habits your lifestyle and everything okay. if you live like uh i don't know how you say in english like a lavish life extravagant <laughs> Extra <laughs> extravagant life extravagant then life. you know of course 40 40 hours per week is not enough yeah if your salary is just a minimum wage yeah. right during the time when you come to canada you don't need ielts right no no, no ielts. ielts and you have at least 72 units college yeah, 72 and it's units. okay yeah and what else the requirements before um just no credential assessment no credential assessment no ielts mm -hmm. uh, 72 units is okay that was our time yeah, her time yeah. okay 99 that was 10 years ago 2006 2006 uh, 2005 to 2006 oh so yeah. i'm here 2006 oh i'm even come here earlier before you yeah oh yeah i'm here before you you know I only stay in Hong Kong for one year. Oh, so I stay in Hong Kong like eight years. <laughs> eight years you stay yeah, in Hong Kong? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so oh. I, was, I was there in Hong Kong 1997. Wow. <laughs> eight years in Hong Kong to be a nanny. <laughs> <laughs> no for me i only stay in hong kong for one year because my purpose is uh, to come here in canada that's 